Would you just hurry up and die already? Fast Slick, the big hairy villain screamed in frustration. As he strangled poor blood-soaked Murray McFerry. You tried to fuck my woman? Oh yeah? Is that right? Fast Slick spat with hatred as Murray McFree held on to life stubbornly tight. With all of his libido, with all of his might. Fast Slick came home from the rodeo early. He had the shits and wanted to get to the toilet in a mad dash of a hurry. Once he finally sat on the throne, his ass began to explode, repeatedly as he finally found relief believing himself to be in his house all alone. What came next from the pure smell of shit was the gagging sound of his wife. So fast Slick wiped his ass, then he ran to the bedroom with his large hook blade knife. It was directly then and there that he caught a remarkably aroused Murray McFerry. His wife screamed like a victim as she quickly leapt through the window naked. And blurry. That's when Slick grabbed McFurry by the scruff. Prepare to die. I have already seen enough. They danced with one another by the beer. McFurry took slash after slash, blood sprinkled in a flurry. Soon with a grip on the handle, the hook knife was tossed out of the window. But for Slick, hope still was not lost. Blow for blow they swung and they kicked. They rolled into the kitchen in a style that was hard to depict. Slick have a left hook as teeth spilled onto the floor. That wife of yours is a good little whore. Murray McFerry screamed out of spite. He wheeled off and struck fast Slick with his fist held extra tight. Slick then filled the sink with ice cold water as he strangled there. Ram for his life. Not on my property, not with my wife. Slick's wife pleaded as she shook and she begged them to stop. Finally the sink was filled with water. Straight to the top. Next came the gargles and savage, monstrous, groans of panic as McFurry could not breath. Slick held McFurry's head under as his wife continued to scream, scream, and scream. That night, McFurry and Slick's now ex-wife were both remotely buried and gone. Slick rided them both with no remorse in one of last week's freshly dug graves. Nobody ever would search for the bodies there. The End